All right, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Chasm here at my channel, Idle Wisdom. Now we're picking up where we left off, and I said I was going to pick this up with my my regular playthrough that I have been doing, and I am going to do that. But but I realized that I was looking at the other episode I had recorded, and so much of it is taken up with me sort of kind of doing rehash. And only really the last little bit of it was any new content. And so since the way this game is saved, I can't go back. So I'm going to do the very first part of this with my magic user hard, I mean, nightmare mode character, and then switch over. <laughs> so it'll be an interesting little composite. You'll see some magic, some real magic of me <laughs> starting at uh, this guy and <laughs> turning back into Rodrigo. This is Leo, the magic user. Okay, so we need to figure out where hmm it sees different each time where we need to go we have the Ulak pennant so I think we need to go up here it sort of varies from places to playthrough so I think we need to go up here Oh, and you notice, this is back to the, the normal music again. Like I said, I like the chip tune stuff, but I think the regular soundtrack is better. Except for maybe the mine. The mine is really pretty cool. The mine chip tune song. But I like the town. The town theme. Jeez, those gorillas are not much of a threat on normally but on the nightmare mode they are dangerous 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 too much of ah! chase you gotta be careful hmm a muffin no how about a cupcake no that's too too many hit points. Ah, yes, a steak. I love how the, the sweets are more nourishing than the, the steak. <laughs> oh, no. Nothing. Nothing. Tra la la. Always like the, the labyrinth. Those wasps are easy peasy with this. This guy right here. It's actually kind of difficult. Well, not difficult, but you know, a bit tricky. Woohoo! Oh, I missed. <laughs> Come on. Oh, come on. I didn't expect... I kind of didn't mean to do that. And then I... <laughs> I surprised myself and slid tackled him. <laughs> Which is kind of cool. Let's re-equip our knife. Is it going to be here? Meow, meow, meow. Anybody over here? Yes, there was. There was somebody over there. Better to kill him without seeing them. Nope, nothing. Oh, okay, so it's not here. Dang, blast it. So it's probably down there? Oh, I don't know. This is so annoying. Right. 
<laughs> not today, frog or toad or whatever you are. Okay, so I know it's not over here and it's not over there. So that means it could be right there or right there. Hey, it's not up there because that's where he fought that Titan thing. Hmm. Who knows? I might even cut some of this out. Aha. Yeah, whatever, dude. <laughs> what a shame. Haha. <laughs> Oh, you little punk, embarrassing me. That's right. Pay the price for your lack of vision. Of course, the ironic thing is Palpatine was the one who had the lack of vision. <laughs> he didn't realize the degree to which he was in danger. Hmm, let's try actually right down here. Alright. Oh, well, treasure chest. Oh, the sword hat. So yeah, the sword hat. We're not going to use it because we're using... Well, it doesn't really matter. This is not my... I'm not using it in either game. It's like, see, it makes the sword follow you around. It's kind of cool. over here oh yeah okay well then let's get these <laughs> gold crown that's kind of like the sword familiar in um, symphony of the night I mean it's exactly like it only with a hat instead of a relic card or whatever it was that you found. Because you remember there was the, was it four familiars? Was it four or five familiars? Five familiars? There is the, the sword, the fairy, the bat, the ghost, and the little imp devil. So five. Let's go this way. Alright, we have to go up. And up we shall go. Up, up, up. Hmm, let's go this way. Punk. That was a stupid maneuver on my part. <laughs> uh, oh well. Now is it this way? Probably not. Oh, but you never know. Oh man, <laughs> poor guy, he got wrecked. Yes, it's this way. It is this way. Cool. Haha, -ha, we took a shortcut. Oh man, I can almost. Ah, oh, no, can't do it. Need the double jump. Ooh, we can get that treasure chest right here. What is it this time? Emerald? 
And a di oh, a diamond. Wow. Oh, darn. No, that's fine. <laughs> darn. Yeah, diamond. That's worth a lot of magic. Uh, it'll help boost up magic up quite a bit. Nice. Oh, oh, geez. Wow. That, is that Bastin? He just got shot. Bastin, you right, dude? There you are. I've been looking all over for you. Don't worry. My injuries aren't as bad as they look. <laughs> you got laid out, dude. Listen closely, though. I have something important to tell you. I finished the translations, and I have discovered that the temple is indeed no ordinary structure. Ordinary. It's designed to amplify the power of the Shadow Gem and open a tunnel between worlds. I'm afraid this means Ulak is already here and growing stronger with each passing moment. Its dark power has been flowing into our world for centuries like sand through an hourglass. If there's any hope of stopping Ulak, the connection to its power must be severed. You must find the Shadow Gem and close the gateway. My injuries would only slow you down. I'm afraid you will have to go on alone. Please take my translation book. It may be of some use to you. Farewell for now. Alright. Cool. Thanks, Bastin. So see, here, can't get in. So, we read that now and we can... Only those who wear the symbol of the Master may enter. Now, just so you, yeah, you probably, you might know this, or you might have just thought of this yourself. Unless he actually just provided you with a translation of this in like a note here, like this sign says X, Y, and Z. A translation book doesn't just universally allow you to <laughs> instantly read foreign language. I mean, you have to actually understand the grammar and syntax and all that and such, but you know, whatever. This isn't important. Still, so maybe, but maybe he, on this one, maybe he wrote down what that says. So we need to put the Ulak pendant on because these weird idiots think Ulak is their master. So, and there it goes. It opened right up. So they must all have Ulak medallions or Ulak something or other paraphernalia. <laughs> Ulak underwear. <laughs> Let us cha 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 cha. Okay. Now this is the temple. A very difficult and annoying area. <laughs> Is not fun at all in many ways. Those guys, that, that's like one of the, the weirdos that shot Basden. Basden. Bosden, Basden. They're 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 pretty weak. They hit pretty hard, but they're they're they you can kill them pretty quickly. But there's lots of tough enemies in here and lots of difficult jumping and there's these bar energy barriers you can't get through that you have to un, un you know turn off and there's teleporters and all sorts of really fun, annoying, stress-inducing, you know, electrified floors or whatever you want to say. Aha! See, those guys are toast, though. You guys are- oh, and they drop ham. Ham! <laughs> like in Ponyo. Do you like those Studio Ghibli movies? I like some of them. Ponyo was one of the more disappointing ones, I thought. Not a very coherent storyline. Eh, not that great. Not like Spirited Away or Princess Mononoke or Kiki's Delivery Service or Howl's Moving Castle, blah, blah, blah. A lot of good ones. See, that's one of the teleporters. We're not gonna go there now because right now we are trying to unlock, which I'll show you soon. Ha, you got wrecked, dude. Bam, sis. Oh, we got a platinum ingot. Platinum ingot. That's the first platinum ingot. We need, what, three of them for the mayor's grandson? And here we are. The portal back. Boom! Goes the dynamite. And that leads us back here. All right, cool. All right, now I, there's gonna be some, you wanna see some magic, some real magic? <laughs> this will be interesting for you. All 
All right, and then let's see back to the temple Aha, so if you see some magic just occurred <laughs> magic and sleight of hand Oops Yeah, this is back to Ooh, yeah, yeah. So this is my other this is back to the regular character. So we're back in the regular continuity again. Feels great to have Rodrigo go back here. Leo can, you know, have his own adventures. Uh, apparently I did not get that the last time. So I actually have two platinum ingots because I, yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe we bought one from, what's his face? Duncan back at the, at Carthus. I don't know, but we have two platinum ingots now so that we can, uh, just need one more, and then we'll be able to give. The grandson of the mayor, the, the, the three ingots he needs. Now see here, there's three barriers, which means we have to find three different dang switches to get those all turned off. Oh, come on, I'm, see, here it is. I'm totally forgetting my, <laughs> I'm used. I got kind of used to playing with the. Magician, it's gonna get me killed. Wait, mean, what's up here then? Ooh, cool. So we have a couple ways to go. Oh, a token. Big whoop de doo. Okay. See, this is, okay, this is, um, really annoying. You have to time it just right. And not smell. Which leads me right out. Oh my goodness. Come on, dude. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna take my frustration on you, dude. You're gonna, oh, snap. Aha, that was, that was skill right there. And that gets us to, ho ho, yeah, wing boots. That gets us basically the double jump. See? Wee, 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 wee. So that allows us to do all sorts of things. Basically, we, we that's our, our freedom right there to get so many things. Yeah. Yeah, what what happened? Ho ho, and oh good, summon scroll. Nice. Coo. Okay, oh well, that was it. Well that's that is what we needed to get there. For sure. And see now we can do this. That is like the most important thing. Right like that. Oh, what a shame. Nothing there, is there? Nope. Okay. So basically, we can just climb up one side. Yeah, we can go through there, but I think we should pry. Who cares? Haha, <laughs> -ha, die. And we can also go up here. So we have two teleporters to go through. But let's go save. This also means we have opened up consider uh, probably quite a f quite a few um, places like uh, that where we couldn't get to before. I don't know if this one that might require an invisibility potion, but like right up here, like let's take a look. Um, right here. 
because the the gliding power plus the double jump is basically how you need to how you get the, some of these far flung um, treasures. Yeah, remember I was well. I don't know if you remember, but yeah. See, easy peasy, bam sis, and we get what a night figurine. Now, if you recall, let's take a look at it. A wooden figurine that resembles a knight. That little kid, Rupert, asked us for any toys. If we'd seen any toys, oh, there's the shaman. Remember this. Back <laughs> early episode, the shaman's cave where he, I guess he meditated, or a picture, to, or at least a picture depicting the shaman meditating. So that's it. I think I need to wrap this episode up. We've opened the way to the next area, the temple, and we got the double jump. Woohoo! Woohoo! And we found the night figurine for little kid. So where was he? No, that's Jinx. Yes, here it is. Hey, Rupert. Wow, it's just, it's a knight just like you. This has to be the best toy ever. You should get a reward just like the knights in my storybooks. Here, you can have this ring I found on my way home. It seems really nice, but it doesn't fit my finger anyway. A mana ring. Oh, cool. Okay, so that's a pretty good item. Let's see. So, a ring that increases the appearance of mana orbs. It makes, yeah, it's useful for, I don't remember if it makes more of them appear when you smash things. I think that's what it does. But yeah, really useful if you're a magic user. But it can be useful for us too, if we need to recharge our magic. Let's see, here's Bazin. Oh man, he doesn't look good. Dude, you okay? Bazin? Uh, he's asleep. Let's leave him alone. Dang. Wait, we didn't find anything for her. Nope. There. Get a couple potions. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Let's see. Let's upgrade. Now, what should we upgrade now? Let's do the shield. Well, I, oh, no, we don't have anything. Oh, yeah. The diamond. That was in the other playthrough. Darn it. <laughs> that was in the other um, continuity, if you like. Oh, well. Hopefully that's done. And I won't have to <laughs> do any more of that nonsense. But anyways, yeah. it was At least I was able to show you all that. The King Trail and all that. And I decided to do this instead of having my irritated, frustrated episode, which wasn't all that helpful. Alright, cool. Let's see, I think that's it. And so, all right, well, thank you very much for joining me on this episode of my Let's Play of Chasm here on my channel, Idle Wisdom. Take care, y'all. 